Hi all. Dave once again out in Western Pennsylvania, USA. Just a brief update on our progress with supercapacitor designs. On the right, you see a section of commercial graphite felt, and that will serve and its partner as the electrodes in the supercap. We've coated this section of graphite felt with a slurry of at the consistency of sour cream. fine activated carbon which has been sieved and a small amount of carbon black G to boost conductivity. Now we did not nickel plate this graphite felt but we also do light nickel plating, electroplating and I'll have the, the details of what I mean by light. Low current, sh very short, 15-20 minutes we don't want to lose flexibility, and we will study the surface using our new uh, scanning electron microscope. More about that later this summer. But the other section, the other side of the graphite felt will be coated. I use a brush, and we will be using fiberglass mat. Now this particular one has porosity created by the use of nickel acetate, nickel plus two, with agar agar to uh, create a very thin gel, which I applied or I dipped the fiberglass felt in that. Makes it a little, a little bit, uh, we, want, we don't want shorts to occur. So I want to ensure that uh, the two electrodes, the electrodes will not um, short. We'll be doing more research on, on this. But you get the idea with this sandwich. Now, eventually, we will make long strips of felt to boost uh, capacitance. And I will roll it up into dummy D cells, basically D cell size. Roll it up. See if we can get to 100 farads. What's the electrolyte? Well, we're investigating water in salt electrolytes. The acronym is WISE, W I S E, small case I. If you go to Google Scholar, you can find some papers, a number of papers on uh, the water in salt elect electrolytes. I was working with uh, eutectics, ionic liquids and deep eutectic solvents, but we're progressing now towards the use of WISE electrolytes. And to give you a rough idea, over here is about a 15 or 20 molal solution of uh, calcium nitrate tetrahydrate and the supernatant is what I'm interested in. That would be my Y's component. Interestingly enough, if you have a power supply and some of the work I upload is for home researchers and undergrads, some of the work is not suitable, and of course, that would be going to Scientific Journal for peer review. And uh, I'll be an emeritus uh, chemistry professor in August of this year. I'll continue research, but uh, I won't be teaching anymore, but I've been given emeritus status in August. Um, using a power supply with a couple of stainless steel pins as electrodes, if I put that into a dilute solution, salt water solution, sodium chloride, and I go to 1.7 or 2.0 volts, well, 
I start to produce, of course, hydrogen and oxygen gases. But if I clean these electrodes and I put them in some of this wise, I've reached 2.5 volts. No gas evolution observed, but I do get a deposit of solid salt on the um, anode. We'll be studying that, but there's no gas evolution that I can see visibly. Now, of course, there will be advanced methods for determining this, but if you're a home researcher or undergrad, just by putting these in that, you'll be able to see if you're getting any hydrogen, oxygen, gas production. Now, the ceiling for this would be about 2.5 volts. I'll probably stay around 2.0 volts. And of course, with sodium chloride in water, putting over potential to the side at 1.3 volts, you're going to get electrolysis of water producing hydrogen and oxygen gases, which I don't want, of course, in the super caps. But I really am, am sold on the uh, WISE electrolytes. We're making a number of them. I'm going to be testing out lithium chloride very shortly. But um, if I'm not seeing any gas evolution at 2.5 volts with this calcium nitrate tetrahydrate, uh, at 2.5 volts, did I see any uh, current? 0.01 amp. So... 10 milliamps, and of course, with uh, no water at all in a super cap, you're not going to get any conductivity. If you have too much water, you're going to get electrolysis of water. So you want about a 12, even a 20 molal solution, depending on the salt, at 20 degrees Celsius. Um, lithium chloride at 20 degrees Celsius, I believe 85 grams of lithium chloride will dissolve in 100 grams of water. But this is a quick test to see if you can go to a potential uh, 1.5, 1.7, 2 and a half volts, even perhaps 3 and a half volts, depending on your situation. But this is how I would have my students begin to develop a feel for these wise materials. And of course, the graphite felt has surface area, but by coating with some activated carbon and carbon black, I will boost the surface area and the carbon black will help with the conductivity. And uh, once I start to see any decent capacitance, small scale, then it's a question of simply increasing the surface area of the graphite felt. So we'll keep you posted on our research. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.